afternoon. It is just about half past 12. Thomas and I are in the Y Valley. We've come out here for a week just to get away from it all and have a little bit of a holiday. We've had a very lazy morning. Um, stayed in bed for a really long lie-in, made some brunch, and now we're coming out here for a bit of a walk. And look at this as our surroundings. It's absolutely stunning. And, and then there's Thomas, letting the side down. <laughs> Not so much down here, we're a little bit closer to um, livestock, but up at where we're staying, the Airbnb, the silence is fantastic. And we'll show you around that a bit later in the day. We'll start in the village of Brockway. Uh, we're just headed down there from the place. Uh, across the dike into Wales, because that's the old, well no, it's still the boundary, but it's an old man-made structure that is designed to separate England and Wales. Um, <laughs> following mostly the Offers Dyke Trail, which is one of the national parks, national parks? National paths in the UK. Uh, there's a 117 mile path. We're not doing it all, don't worry. Not today anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, should have set off earlier. Yeah, we should have done. Which just uh, follows Offers Dyke. Um, and it's a good basis with which to start the walks because it goes straight past the place we're staying and uh, allows us to then branch out from there. Very nice too, thank you. This is a very nice start to the walk, unusually for Thomas. It's all downhill. But obviously what this does mean is that it's going to end all going up the incline. Oh yeah. We'll check back in later. security pro building skills there how's the magnification my sweet it's good yep that's a buzzard nice the crows obviously haven't realized he's there yet because mm. he's currently he is well high you can see very distinctive white banding on the underside of his wings how much easier would all of our problems be is every time we saw a problem we all just sat there and shouted for a while. Some people do that. I do. <laughs> Anybody have any idea what these silvery plants are? The look like this. And they are absolutely everywhere on this little bank slash floodplain. Let us know in the comments. Stop for an obligatory drink. Got my usual goblet of plenty. And let's have a look at the front of your... Very nice, what have you got? It's the Wild Hair IPA, courtesy of the namesake of the pub, uh, but brewed by the brewery. It's literally just a few, uh, no, less than a mile down the way. Very nice too. I'm going to drink this now and then we'll be back on our way. Does your dog have as good a grasp of lead physics as Juno does? She's wrapped herself around there. Comes all the way around there. There you go, my dear. All the way around. And it comes back under here. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the, but around that chair leg. Oh yeah, we're going again. Good, good. <laughs> Hello. Do you know? Yes, it is you. <laughs> there we go. Here it is. We're doing this. Well, I this ish. We could then. So this is the bridge we're going to go back over because mm -hmm. we've gone around here yep. and we're at a pub in about here. Um, we're then going to cross that bridge, go over there, and then instead of going all the way up back around there, around there, around there, around there, and then back up home, we're basically just going to follow the other side of the river. Okay. Um, 
and then hit off a slight path again, and then off a slight path to take us where we need to be. Sweet. Feeling refreshed and back on our feet. Off we go on to a, uh, <laughs> hang on, a strong, mighty, powerful bridge. <laughs> No cars, no. <laughs> really? You reckon it's safe? Yeah, of course it is. All right, let's go. You know, I said at the start that what goes up must come down, or in this case, what starts going down must eventually come back up. <sighs> Excuse me, but well done, my dear. <laughs> Off we go. Spotty plant. Oh yeah. What is that? It's got these little purple flowers. Pay a lot of money for that in Brimsmore. Yeah. <laughs> Set activated in three, two, one. So aside from upsetting the local wildlife, we are at new fancy lookout. Well, we should be very shortly. Yeah. So we're gonna go and see what we can see. According to the information board, we need to look out for, probably not warm enough yet for adders, but wild boar. I don't wanna mess with wild boar. <laughs> That's not quite a, a petting zoo piglet, my dear. Certainly some view. What can you see? I don't see any ships. <laughs> I suppose now's a nice time to give a rundown of what we've been up to this morning. Uh, Juno and I popped out for a quick run in the local area. And then uh, Victor and I had a nice bit of brunch. It is gloriously quiet around here. There is just no ambient background noise. No the normal humdrum of modern life it all seems to be gone away. What do you see? Oh, I can hear a lot of birds. I can't see any right this second, mind you. I will keep trying. Lead physics masterclass in session once again. <laughs> Come on, this way. Do you know? This way, this way, no, 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 no. This way, then this way. Cook out this way, come on. Do you know this? No, no. This way. Then this way. Good girl, there we go. Uh, put up a sculpture to remember all the people that have died in the coal and iron mines and quarries in the forest of Dean. So, coal represented by oak, iron by steel, and stone by bedrock. That's just up here. Yeah. 
and the um, little discs are how is it how miners know who's above ground and who isn't? Uh, yes, I think that's what they said. They're saying that the, uh, each miner would ha either have a disc so they know yeah who is below. That's wonderful. And down into the forest we go. That would have made one hell of a noise when that came down. If a tree falls in a forest and no one around, does it make a sound? <laughs> I didn't hear it. If you go down to the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise because Thomas will be there and Juno taking out all the undergrowth. Juno. And getting caught around trees. <laughs> We're gonna go over it, through it, or around it. <laughs> the board game way. A tree has blocked your path. Blocked your options See, are. This is a, in, in a you know, uh, video game. This is an impassable obstacle. Yes, and you, no matter how many times you press jump, you can't get over it. Or through it. No, and this for some reason will be completely unclimbable. Absolutely. And out of nowhere, the plucky spaniel will arrive. <laughs> You causing chaos? Ow. Yes. <laughs> well, you assured me that there wouldn't be too much exploring today, so I wore a skirt. I said we are meandering. Well, Chrissy Merle won ultramarathons in a skirt, so they must be good. I don't think she wears a maxi skirt. I think yeah. she wears a little sports skirt. No ones that actually have shorts in them. Well. Who's to say? A squat, I think it was called back in the day. Oh, yeah. Huh. Lots of big trees have fallen down. There's one over there, one there, and there's one just up ahead. Lots of big ones have come down. Well, never mind you, Ned, you go first. So those that have come down, that, yeah. They are pines that have come down. So what you've got there is a natural pond. Hmm. Don't do that. I've been down for a while because it's been reclaimed by all the ferns and frog spawn and things. Yeah, my dear, you look thoughtful. <laughs> Go on. Go. That is a long old path. Very straight. Mm. Romans built it. Alright. Let's go. One, two, three. Two of them are having a bit of a to-do. Which really? is a bit premature because they don't have antlers yet. <laughs> Practice. Yeah, fluffy tail. He's a good girl. We've dipped back into the woods properly. Juno has calmed down a little bit since we saw the deer. And considering she's ten and a half kilograms, she'd definitely give it a try if we let her off lead to go after a deer. Because she's a fool. 
So keeping her on lead just to be safe. And according to Thomas, this path will take us back to the car. Absolutely. My internal compass disagrees with that, so let's wait and see how we do. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, look at her. She's got brown socks on. <laughs> Yes, I'm sure you are pleased with yourself. Or she's going to come back and shake at you. No, she isn't. <laughs> How do I not have a blood pressure about... Well, whatever a bad blood pressure is. <laughs> if you fall in, am I allowed to laugh? No. <laughs> of course. What do you think I feed you for? Good girl. Come on, keep going. I'm not going to do this myself. Annoyingly, Thomas was right all along. I Back to the car park. Yep. And what are we doing next? I don't know. Scones? Scones. Oh my god, you look at the state of your feet. <laughs> I think you need a wash. Yeah. This is very extra. <laughs> Yes. If you're going to be this annoying, you can go stand somewhere else while I make this. I don't want to hear any nonsense in the comments about putting cream or jam on first. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Oh. Credit to your mother for making these. Mm -hmm. They're bloody fantastic. They are awesome, aren't they? Oh my god. That's the stuff. Mm. There's ways to end a walk and there's this one. The only way this could possibly improve is by going to the pub in a minute. Absolutely. Sweet. I thought that was obvious.